get to the business side in a minute, deep digging deeper. But uh, from a leadership perspective, you just said, I was talking to Sint Marshall, right? One of your good friends. You yeah. were down in Dallas with her. And we were best. talking about leadership pipelining. Anything the Cavs are doing from a leadership pipeline and perspective to uh, help elevate people of color, women in, in sports, which is still kind of like that diversity. It's getting better, especially in the NBA, but still not, I'm sure, where the league wants it to be. And yeah, the Cavs are doing differently. There's two things I'd point to. First thing we've done, and we have a social responsibility team that I think is best in class, but we are in year three right now of having a diversity, equity, and inclusion scorecard. And that scorecard is made up of five different components. Every single one of our senior leaders has a portion of their bonus that is dedicated to achieving those key, those key, those key performance indicators mm. of that diversity, equity, and inclusion scorecard. We, as far as I know, and I'm not making this official statement, are, are probably the first team in sports to align compensation with DE&I objectives. And I think that's really, really, really important. We've now extrapolated that out in year three to all of our VPs and above. So it's basically a cohort of about 27 people in our organization that have a component of their, their compensation tied to the performance of how we do from a DE&I perspective. I think that's really important to lay that foundation. The second thing I'd point to is we are in year two of a, what we call a, leader to, a leadership and training cohort, mm -hmm. um, where we basically dedicate eight months um, of the calendar year to really focus on how we're growing the next generation of leaders within our organization. We make sure that group is diverse. We make sure they're diverse, not just in gender or in race, but in also experience um, and, in, and in aspects of the business to make sure they represent all of the different business verticals. So we think the strongest way through DE&I is you have to have your house in order before you can go to market and really make an impact from a diversity, equity, and inclusion perspective. And then, you know, externally, we have a whole host of things we invest in programmatically because it's not just, in my opinion, about writing a check and taking a picture. It's about investing in programs that can change the trajectory of youth and people in our community. And those are things that we've been very focused on as a part of all of this work. It's all interconnected because it can't just be one and not the other. There's a there's a, an ecosystem you have to be mindful of to really make the greatest degree of impact. Yeah, 